Hey everyone, it is Dave. Welcome in. It is time for module four, which we are now in the second half of the class. So instead of learning about the formal elements and principles of design, which we already have, our emphasis switches to the different artistic mediums that artists use. So this week we're going to be covering drawing, we're going to be covering architecture, both ancient and modern. We also have a very fun lecture on art theft, looting, and repatriation. This is my area of interest, of expertise, of scholarship, and you get to actually see a professional lecture this week uh, that I gave probably about three or four years ago now. So that is a really great topic. I hope you enjoy it. Along those lines, the discussion board focuses on the Elgin marbles. Should they be returned? Should they stay in Britain? It's up to you. And the final thing we have to do, we also have two journal entries like normal, but the final project we also have is a modern architecture. I wrote down paper and presentation. And I'll explain that to you when we get to the Canvas site. It's not gonna be so much a paper as it is a worksheet. And as far as the presentation goes, you're going to basically tell me about your project and what you learned in the building you decided to do some research on. You'll also have a little bit extra flexibility with that project. It won't be due uh, as stated on July 28th, but it does have to be done by August 4th. So you won't have any late penalties or anything like that. Uh, it just needs to be done within that time period. And I think that's everything that's on the lecture schedule. I'm gonna take you to the Canvas site and I'll walk you through everything you need to know for this week. All right, here we are on the Canvas site. One thing before we get started with module number four, uh, please note that the museum visit information is up here at the very top of the module site. And once again, it's just allowing you to go ahead and visit any museum of your choice in person. It can be a, a smaller museum that is more local to you. It can be one of the major museums if you want to make the trek into LA or any other major city if you happen to be on vacation anywhere during the course of our class together. I do have websites for all of these museums that are throughout our area. Again, everywhere from San Diego to Long Beach to Los Angeles. And if you are on vacation anywhere, such as Northern California or New York or Paris, uh, if you're that lucky, there's always museums there that you can go and visit. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if you do visit a museum that is not on this list, uh, please at least run it by me just so I can give you uh, the thumbs up and that that museum would be appropriate. So that's the museum visit, and it is due by the last day of the semester. I think I have the official due date as August the 4th, but you do have some flexibility all the way into August 11th. Module four is this week, and up top we have our video that you're watching. Underneath that is the introduction, which tells you what's gonna be due this week. Uh, we do have four lectures, we have drawing, architecture, ancient and modern, and then we have a really fun lecture on art theft. For the further exploration section on drawing, you definitely wanna watch this Bolvero technique. And also one of the cool things, if you wanna learn how to draw faces pretty easily, this is a great video for that. I probably don't suggest watching the Lori Lipton movie unless you really like her art it does go to a pretty dark place toward the end of the film, but it is fun to see how she creates these incredible artworks through pencil and charcoal. And you can see, especially in this video, how detailed these works are. She is a great artist, one of my favorites. I do own one of her works, and I've met her a couple of times, actually. Uh, ancient architecture. For the further exploration section here, uh, the orders of Greek architecture is really important. You do only need to know Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian for the final exam. You also want to play this video on the Pantheon, which is the best preserved of the ancient Roman buildings. 
In modern architecture, in the further exploration section, we have falling water, which is this building here. Uh, we do have a video on the outside. Uh, you're not allowed to shoot video on the inside during any of the tours. We have the website and its Facebook page. Also the stall house, which is one of the case study houses. And this is a list of all the case study houses, which you'll learn about in lecture. This is one of my uh, favorite basically programs for building homes uh, in Southern California. It was a post-war idea and unfortunately it failed, but we do have all the model homes throughout Southern California. So take a look at those. And then the final lecture, this is a professional lecture. So it's about an hour long. So you'll watch that. You don't have to watch the Q&A at the end, but the further exploration section just has some trailers for some art theft movies, such as The Rape of Europa, Monuments Men, and The Woman in Gold, which deals with the portrait of Adela Block Bauer. For our journals this week, Journal 7, I'm going to have you download this article here from Scientific America, read through it, and answer these three questions, such as what was the problem or problems with Frank Lloyd Wright's design for this building? What process did the engineering firm go through to repair and preserve the home? And more of a question for you, who do you think should be the final word in a building's design? Is it the client who's paying for it or the architect who supposedly has all the knowledge? And just support your answer. After that, we have journal entry number eight. And journal entry number eight deals with the art theft lecture. What I'm gonna have you do is you can go to the library's website or straight to the database link and look for an article on art theft. It can be a recent article, it can be an article from years ago, but just on a topic that interests you. You're gonna type in some keywords, see what articles come up and choose one. It is best to choose an article that has at least 500 words. Otherwise, it's really difficult to summarize because your summary is probably gonna to be two to 300 words. So that is there for you. I'll click over to the library's website and you can use the OneSearch here. Make sure to click on articles when you do that. Or you can go right down here to databases. And if there's a particular database you wanna choose, that would be great. Um, otherwise, you know, um, just a random one would be fine. Newspaper Source Plus sounds like a really good one because newspaper articles are generally your best articles for this project. You don't really want to get into something that is uh, a very long lengthy scholarly article that has like 2,500 words. That's way too many. Just a short article, probably 500 to 1,000 words is that sweet spot. Make sure to cite your article at the bottom of the summary. There will usually be a citation somewhere on the page where your article is. And it does not matter if it's APA, MLA, Chicago, um, any of them will work. I'm familiar with all of them. After that, we have our two major projects due. And the first one is a discussion on the Elgin marbles. And the Elgin marbles are basically sculptures from the Parthenon that were taken during the Ottoman occupation of that country. I'll, I talk a little bit about it during the art theft lecture. You're gonna do some more research on it and decide whether or not the Elgin marbles should be returned or not. And it does not matter which side that you take. The idea is that you make a statement saying yes or no, and then you're going to support with an argument why you feel the way you do. I'm looking for 100 to 150 words as part of that and then you also want to comment on one other student's post and agree with them. You can disagree. Keep in mind it does have to be professional and scholarly so all the rules of netiquette do apply. Please make sure that the post is done July 28th and the reply done by August the 4th. All right, one last thing to do. It is worth a lot of points, the modern architecture paper and presentation. 
So with this, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to download this worksheet here. And the worksheet is a basis for you to research a particular building that falls into the classification of modern architecture. Once you choose a building, you're going to put a picture of the building here, the name of the building, where it's located, all the facts about it, information about the architects, major construction materials, what makes this building modern, why did you choose it, and at least three academic level sources. Keep in mind when you're done with this worksheet, you should have probably 25 to 30 lines of text. And I'll probably go ahead and add that to the instructions here. That's about a little bit more than a page that is double spaced in terms of writing. Here are some examples from past students. You may not use a building that was in the lecture. You may not use any building that is used as an example. Once you're done with the worksheet, you're going to submit that, but you're not done with the project yet. I need a video from you that presents this work, that presents this building that you just researched. I did activate the Canvas Studio, uh, which is off here. You'll just click into that. It'll ask for access to your camera, to your microphone, and then it'll work very much like a Zoom call. You'll just click the record button. Um, I've personally never used Canvas Studio as a student. You can do that if you have any other ways of recording or if you just want to post a video that you did onto maybe your YouTube page keep it as unlisted and send me the link. That would be great. But for your presentation, you're just going to talk to me just like we're sitting across the table from one another. You're going to tell me what building you researched, the information about it. The video should be about three to five minutes in length, nothing longer. And it's important not to be reading the worksheet. You're not going to read it from top to bottom. You can highlight some points definitely from your research, but it's more of a casual conversation is what I'm looking for for your presentation. The worksheet needs to be completed by the 28th and the video needs to be completed by the 4th. I'll have a little bit better breakdown of those points for you, but primarily it's 20 points for the presentation and 30 points for the worksheet. With that, I will see you next week with module number five.